Hello, my name is Anton, and in this video, I'm going to go through a few different methods that I use to sync my Nova 2 from uh, Onyx, and also how you can add files onto the device as well. So the first place I'm going to start is in their web portal, which you can get to by typing push.boox.com. And you'd have to create an account. Here I've already created one and I'm logged in. And I've already synced my device with notes into the, the cloud here of their portal. Now this is should be pretty familiar where you're going to have your notes in here and also your reading notes. Um, you can also set up collections and then you have the recycle bin there on the uh, on the left hand side. So I've selected one of my test notes here. You can see this is my test note and it's already downloaded and rendered the note here in the, the portal application. So if I stretch this out a bit, we'll see at the top here, we have a menu of different things we can do. We can, we can search for certain um, uh, notes within here. You can also change the layout a bit here. You can do a search again. We can change the zoom of the actual file that's here. Um, another zoom selection option. And then you can either go full screen or let me exit out of there. I went full screen and probably messed up the recording, but you can go full screen by clicking on this one here. Further to the right, you can print the note and this will go to your printer. You can download a PDF of the file and then you can click on the little three dots here and you can change the orientation of the note within the portal here, however you like. around okay um, you can go ahead and set up the scroll to change whether it goes left or right or up and down and the even and odd spread I haven't actually messed with that much so you go ahead and play with it and see what that does for you I'm not really sure here on those and then you can get the property properties of the actual file and you can see here that the file it is a PDF, um, the size, when it was created, modified, so on and so forth. Now, in order to get files onto the device, you would go into push. And here we can see some of our push history, some of the files that I've already uploaded into the device. If I want to add more, I just go ahead and click on the icon here and then I can browse to wherever I want to to put to upload one of the PDFs or EPUB documents. Okay, so you see it successfully uploaded to the to the box portal here and this will automatically sync to the device once you once you get it here. And I'll show these on the device later in the video. So before I move off onto one of the other methods, let me move back to the notes and change to this note here. And just so you can see that the synchronization and how it changes the note when you make modifications to it. So right now I'm on the device and I'm changing the template and I'm also writing um, the writing some additional stuff onto the note. Then I'll hit the sync synchronize button on the note which I've shown previously in another video. It's pretty easy and what we'll see here is eventually it will upload and sync to the cloud. So you can see the template change. Now I have lines on the uh, in the note, and then you, here's my new entry or new writing that I put on the note. So let's move on to the mobile app. 
and see what the mobile experience looks like. Okay, so I'm going to log into my mobile app here. This is on my Samsung Galaxy Note. And I'm in the MyBox application, as we can see here at the top. See, this is my Nova 2. It gives you some information about the device as well. But what we want to do is focus on the getting files into the into my actual device or into the cloud. The, the app will first always push it to the cloud and then from the cloud your device syncs with the cloud. So that's the basic workflow of how these how this works. So if I go into the push area here, I can go ahead and click in, in here to upload a document. And let me see which file should I choose um, right now just to show something different I'll choose this untitled PDF and we can see it's synced here in this push area and if I switch over to the web portal go to push you can also see that it's uploaded into the cloud as well so that's pretty easy on how you can get these uh, PDFs into into this this area right or onto your device now if we go to the notes I also want to show that the notes sync as well the application works very well on the on the devices it's really snappy um, I've had no hiccups at all using the mobile app and I, and I really love it so if we go into the note here, you see you have to download it and then it will render that note um, within the app. Now you cannot on either one, the cloud or the mobile app, do any kind of annotations or edits of the, the PDFs and the notes. So it's really only just a view. So that is still useful. Um, hopefully at some point they add to where you can you can actually edit these and that would be even better so I've selected on here if I want to download the file I can go ahead and click download and it'll download the PDF similar to how you can do on the web portal okay so one other way that I, I had one other thing that I have set up so that I can sync my notes and what I use is OneNote so within the device you can go ahead and configure your OneNote account and I'll show that later as well you can configure the OneNote account and what it does it creates a specific notebook for the Nova 2 you can see it here called Nova 2 dash notepads and then it syncs up all your notes as a section so we can see each individual note will show up in here as a section and then you will have your pages will be the actual note so this is one one of them what you'll see typically is that let me switch here to a few other ones you'll see the the single note here if you make modifications to the same note it create different versions as well I've seen that let's see if we can find one in here we go in the other direction so here you can see how there's multiple um, PDFs that are in here and each of these are different and they're time stamped um, as well and even on the date shows the different synchron the, the different syncs that have happened and the variations of the file so this is pretty nice um, if you want to, you can see how uh, what you'll typically get when you do the sync here in OneNote is you'll get two different um, PDFs. One just called file, and then one with the date, you know, associated with the same date here, date and timestamp. If you want to view it, I have seen some of them by default will do the pre preview. Um, in other cases, you can do the preview yourself. 
where you can either click to view it here. And what you can also do if you want to view it in the full page, similar to here, is you can right click it and then do insert as printout. Let me see if I can do one that doesn't already have the printout. So this one does not already have the file set up as a printout. And if I go ahead and click there, you can see it inserted the, the actual printout here. Okay. And lastly, another way that I get the let me see files moved to my Onyx books is that I plug it into USB. So let me unplug my phone here and I'll plug in the Onyx books, my, my Nova 2. So I plugged in my Nova 2 and you can see here the what, what has popped up is on a, on a Mac you're going to need to install the Android files transfer app and that's, that's going to be what allows you to, to get this, this particular view. And on Windows, I haven't done Windows yet, but Windows may have support for plugging in these devices and showing up as a storage device. So you, it may just pop up and, and work directly for you. But in in here now I can see the the folder and file structure of the Nova 2. And what I can do is from here I can easily just drag and drop files say into my downloads folder here. And then this will show up on the device. Okay, so now that we've used you know or I've shown the different things that I do on the desktop on my Mac let's move to the device so you can see um, how some of these files have transferred over to the device and then things you might have to configure on the device in order for this to work okay so now we're on the actual device and we're in the library section here and you, we can see right now that we have some new files into the into this library and you can tell because you know it actually puts a tag new on the documents this here is the one that we recently uploaded um, through the web portal and we can click on these and swipe through them just like any other PDF and if we go to notes, we'll see this is the note that we've been syncing and looking at through the web portal. You can see with the templates. This is the icon right here that, that we use to sync the actual note, the individual note itself. And also if you go out, we can sync the entire um, all the notes that are in your in your notes area. This will take longer because it will have to go through each note, see if there's any changes, and if there are changes, then it will sync those up. One thing I did show the synchronization with OneNote. If you come into one of these notes and you change the name of the note, which you can do here, if you change this name, what's going to happen is when it syncs to OneNote, the, what it's going to do is sync another copy of this same note but with a different name. So you'll see a new section over in OneNote and the, the note itself will be duplicated. So you will have both. So you'll have to remember that you change the name and then go and delete the, the old note within OneNote um, to prevent any kind of confusion. I also showed uploading a file through the USB cable. Now I put a file into the storage into the download folder and if you click on storage you can just go into the storage area look for the folder that you may have put content in or documents in and then find that particular document. 
and I put the file in here we can see that from the timestamp I'm doing this on 825 and this here is the PDF that I copied over and again this is simply just a PDF that the the Nova 2 supports it supports EPUBs and other formats as well see one other area was in the settings so with the USB you will have to enable the USB debugging mode in order to get the application on the the desktop to work at least on the Mac this is what you have to do and if you want to set up sync syncing with um, with the cloud, either with the Onyx cloud, you'd have to come in here and set that up. And also with OneNote, you here is where you set it up. You'd have to bind it. You can see these other ones are not not bound, and this one here is. And this is what allows allows me to sync with OneNote. Okay, so that's pretty much it as far as the syncing options and how to get files onto the Nova on the, the Nova device that I use. There are some other ways you could potentially get you know some um, some of your files onto here. There is one see if I can find it fairly quick. So if you come into the push area here, you see the URL that it presents here. If you want to um, connect to this device here and push um, data to it or any kind of um, files to it, you can actually go to your browser on your desktop, put in this URL, and it'll come up with a a little web app, somewhat, and then it'll allow you to to either download or move files onto the device. So that would be another way that you can get files onto this device. I don't commonly use this because if the IP address changes then I have to come back in here and memorize what the address is. So it's more convenient for me to have the, the mobile app because the mobile app doesn't have to be on the same Wi-Fi or the same network that your, your device is on either and you can still move files into the cloud and you can view and sync things uh, by using the mobile app. Okay, so hope you liked the video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, if you have any comments or feedback, want to see something additional that I have not shown, go ahead and let me know and like and subscribe to the channel and hope to see you again. Bye.